You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. The house she just entered doesn't look like an office. What it looks like a, a residential home. Oh no, there's, there's an office there. Are you sure? Oh yes, um, they actually know it's a cosmetic. Um, let's just settle. <laughs> What's the name of the company? Uh, I think it's uh, what again? Uh, beauty spot cosmetic. I think. Yeah. That's entirely different from the name I saw the contract for. Are you sure? Yes. Oh yeah. of them all. Hey! Do not ever touch me again. What is wrong with you? Did I ever tell you I was going to think about it? Did I? Uh, see, let me tell you, IJ. I know you were in a bad mood, Daddy. That's why I allowed you. But now I can see you in Stop hitting me like that. What is wrong with you? Is it because I haven't told your boss what you've been doing? I have my reasons why I haven't told him. So do not push me. Because you will not like the outcome. Uh, uh, IJ. Me, I know you cannot tell my old guy. <laughs> See, whatever happens behind closed doors, remain behind closed doors. Forget all this, your initial guard. IJ, me, I know that you like me. <laughs> hey. Can I be left alone? Just like that. IJ, I love you. I love you. Are you sure this guy is not mentally derailed? What is wrong with him? Yeah. Oh. Uh, there's something I want you to do for me. Okay. Just go out there, eh? Check if there's a One um, red card. So, babe, what's up? They? Who are they? Jeremy and his friend called Free. Oh my god, I'm free! <laughs> oh my god, my home free, you mean? I mean, can you just be serious for once? Okay, 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 hold on. See what you will do. Just call him on the phone and tell him you got the contract signed, okay? To what end? It's a way to consolidate your life since they followed you. Once you call him and break the good news to him, he will believe you. Hmm. I think you're right. You know what? I'll call you once this is done. Okay, darling. 
just handle the situation, okay? <sighs> One bad thing with lies is you need another fat lie to cover up the previous. I just hope this works. Humphrey, I am not comfortable with the whole arrangement. I think we should go in there. Find out for the management or the company if they are recruiting any new people. Mm, you don't do that. That would be quite embarrassing. That's bad. I'm not going to mention that. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, darling. Guess what? What? Just guess, guess. Okay, you know what? The contract has been approved. Wow. Congratulations. Mm, thank you. <laughs> I am coming home very soon so that we can celebrate. All right. Okay. See you soon, baby. I love you. What happened? What's up? She said she got a deal. Okay, so it means she's been telling the truth all, all along. Are we here? Yes, ma'am. You sure? So how did it go? It went well. You know, I had to cook up a celebration to consolidate the lives. Really? Mm -hmm. So it worked perfectly. Oh my you know, god! Everything from the printing of the forms to the call confirming that I got the endorsement. Man, babe, babe, you are too much. Come on, that's how you treat suspicious men. Don't, don't you know? know that? That? Honestly, Come I don't. Oh, but babe. You know, something keeps baffling me. What? How did you come up with the idea of printing those books? Oh, my darling. It's simple, okay? That's the only thing that he will see and believe that you're negotiating a contract. Oh. Yeah, baby. Annie, Trust you me. are too oh. much. Trust <laughs> me. Annie, I owe you one. I only want, honestly, thank you so, so what much. What are friends for? Aww. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My dear, please, please, I need to head home. I understand. Okay. Okay. Ah, I just, come you on. Too much. Come on. I love your son, Mrs. Silo. But you have been shedding him from me. How could you say a thing like that? I've tried severally to get to him through you, but I've refused to do the needful. How exactly do you expect me to come in? Just tell him about me. The rest will be history. And you think telling him about you will make him marry you? I didn't say so, but at least it will pave way for me. Okay. I'll talk to him about you then, and I'll get back to you. So, when are you getting back to me? As soon as possible. Please tell me about your business trip. Fine. But I want to explore other areas of business. Really? Yeah. Now you can have your drink. <laughs> Please. So tell me. What what's, is this area of business you're talking about? <laughs> My love. I thought you were I wanted to buy something. It's what? <laughs> it's settled by the phone. Yes. Congratulations! Thank you! Mind you! 
Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. You know what? Mm -hmm. This calls for celebration. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But before then, mm. let us go to Sir Ozebon so that you can do the needful. You know, earlier today, you made me feel so, so honey. Oh. And I've been holding on to that. So come on. Anything for you. Let me go give you some sugar. Anytime. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like it. I know you will like it. Of course. If you have anything, for your sake, baby. Mm. Um, yeah? mm. What's wrong with you? Now? Because I know you want to gossip. What is it? It's not gossip. Have you been observing that girl, Ijoma? What kind of stupid question is that? I told you I know you want to gossip. What do you mean if I have been observing her? Have I not been observing her since she came to this house? That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that that girl is not happy. Yes, mm -hmm. if you look at her very well, you know that she's not happy. Maybe she's having issues with Olga. That has been my prayer point. Yes. <laughs> your prayer point? <laughs> so you are praying for your Olga not to be happy? Hey. Andy, why are you trying to make me look as if I am a bad person here? I am not a bad person. Yes. I got me, I'm just catching my cruise. Oh, you're catching your cruise. Uh -huh. You're catching your cruise with something like this. Eh? So if Oga is your elder brother and he is not yet married at this age, you'll be catching cruise with him. My God, eh? I know the dumb. You see, let me tell you. Oga's mom has finished work for Oga. Each woman is a prayer point for all the whole men out there. I don't see the reason or God don't want to <laughs> comply. But if God fail to comply, you will touch me, body. Okay? If you see where I am chasing that girl, you will touch me, money. Ha! If I finish dealing with her, with a woman, I am Bonangada. <laughs> My friend. That girl will continue to call my name for the rest of her life. Yes, na. Polo. Yeah? Each time you open your mouth, <laughs> I will know that you are very sick. Is that wrong? I'm very sick. Don't worry. You will understand very soon. Did you come here as a cook for me or my mother placed you here for our own objectives? Whatever the, that might be the case has been overtaken by the genuineness of my interest. Listen, Wolfie, I love you. 
Humphrey, I love you. I love you so much. And if you give me a chance, I will prove it to you. Uh, <laughs> my mother. Uh, you know what? That's enough. Okay, your time here is up. You have to go. Okay, get your things together and get out of my house. She does not interest or dress this way. Mm -hmm. I I am going to use my hands. Please. Out. Just please. Get out! Get! Get! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! What is wrong? Shouting. Uh, maybe possibly shouting at each other. Why now? In our gym, each one will join. You just go back to the gate here. Yeah? I'll go and find out. Uh, let us go and find out. As what? As the chief dad now. I chief, will, I will which, who happen. are the chief to your name? My friend, Getty Man. Oga, okay, I'm a security officer. What are you saying? He's I have just, office. He just called me Oga. Okay. Go, we'll go and find out now. Let's go together. Uh, Hello, sir. You sound very angry. What is it? Okay, I'm coming in. What just happened? See, let me tell you. I don't know what has happened. But what is happening now is that that babe, they enter my eye. Which can not say be that one? I don't understand you. Which babe, they enter your eyes? Each one. See, let me tell you, Oga should be careful the way he, he, he's handling that girl. Because that babe will be the reason I will have issues with him. Uh-uh. Hmm? So you have started smoking in the daytime. In the daytime. Do you know that if Oga finally hears what you said right now, that you are leaving this house the next morning. I wish God will make it possible. Jesus, will you make it possible this minute? What are you saying? If God fires me, I will accept it and I will live with the babe. Can you make this boy here? Yeah, Can you make this thing? If I have a black man. Let me give him, let me give him, let me give him. So, upon all the women you have been firing, you have been fired 24 7. Eh? You have been fired 24 7. You are not okay with them. You now want to be dragging a woman with Oga. Oga. Hi. You know what? You are the wrongest person I should have this discussion with. Just the Jabena gate, eh, man? Go to the gate. I should go to the gate. Eh, my gate. And mind the gate. Yes. Okay. But do you know that if Oga finally fires you, mm. that you will live through that gate? And I will close the gate. And you will not come back again. See, let me tell you, eh? If you leave this gate, I will close the gate. I will not enter this compound again. Don't forget the gate, ah, pia. I will fire you, Mbagi Jaja. Uh, thank you. But make sure you open the gate for me and the girl. Because I will not live alone. Come, The truth is that Humphrey doesn't want to get married to any woman. Why? He believes all women are the same. But you know that's untrue. All women can never be the same. But my wife is a typical example of all women are the same. Secondly, Humphrey is highly temperamental. He doesn't take shit from any woman. However, I will talk to him, who knows? He might change his mind because of you. I don't think there is any need for that. Don't worry, don't we don't need to talk to him again. Don't don't talk to him. It's not necessary. Why? I have changed my mind. Please can we do without talking about this? You are confusing me, my dear. You were the one who switched to him. I know, but I've changed my mind. 
you know, sometimes we discover that some battles are not necessary, especially when you're fighting for what you have already. You are still confusing me. Please, can we quash this topic? Oh God, when will you bless me with my own man? I need to settle down and prepare for the future. At this stage of my life, I am supposed to have at least two children. The pains of spending the night without a man I can call my own is killing me. Dear Lord, hear my prayers, please. I am trying so hard to understand what you're saying. What I am saying, mother, is that I've had enough. Mother, I have tolerated enough. I've had it up to here, beyond my limits. You see that your candidate that you smuggled here as a cook, all she's been fired. I kicked her out of my house and nothing will bring her back here again. Nothing. Son, do you know who Ijoma is? Oh, who is she? No, who is she? I see a woman who's nothing but a loose, desperate woman. That's what I see. And I have no business with a character like that. Son, you're judging her in a hurry. Ijoma is one babe with extraordinary quality. Just give her space to prove herself. What? Oh, she had a lot of space and time that she needed. And she proved herself quite all right to be a desperate bimbo. I have no space for people like that in my house. Mother, this is me respecting you and telling you the decision that I've made. If I see that idiot here again, I'll have her arrested. Son, it hasn't got into that. Hi. What did she do that made you change your mind so fast? Don't give me call Mezi. Don't give me hit your mama I'm serious about what I'm saying. Annie, ever since I got to know you, I've never seen you fall for any man. So what's, what's going on now? Change they say is constant. That is what is playing out. So, how do I come into this? Like, what do you want me to do? Lara, I don't want you to judge me, okay? I've taken serious time to think about this and I want to do this. Come on, Annie. I've never judged you and I won't even start now. Just, just tell me, what do you want me to do? Okay, I want you to help me talk to Humphrey. I'm in love with him. <gasps> Annie! Yes? Are you for real? I am. You are serious? I am. Ha! Huh. Well, Remember, you promised not to judge me. I am not judging you, but... You're sure? I am. I am. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Humphrey and I don't talk regularly. But I'll talk to my husband, who is his best friend. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's why you're my friend. Listen. If it's in my power to cement both of you, I will do that without batting an eye. I know. Thank you so much. You're happy now? I am. You're sure? I am. Come on. <laughs> so tell me what do I offer you? Anything. Anything? 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 I'm getting you dog head. Anything? Oh, crazy. <laughs> I'm free. That is the most unreasonable thing I've had in recent times. Moral decadence is on the rise. Trust me. A time has come when married women will keep boyfriends with the full knowledge of their husbands 
Would that a husband say a word? That's a problem, woman. You know, we 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 we, we live in a time where morality and sanity has been thrown to the dogs and sacrificed on the altar of jet age. Mm. But no one seems to be checking what's going on. No one cares. No one is talking about it. You know, and, and we're just we're just living through it. An uncensored generation. Now, where everyone do what pleases them without minding the adverse effect. You know, funny enough, Jay. Yes. You see what we're talking about right here. You see, you see this thing that we're we're frowning at. Mm -hmm. You find some people supporting and giving credence to what normal human beings would see as an abnormality. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure, sure. sure <laughs> I'm with you. The, look, the bottom line here is that your mother brought that girl to your house for a reason. And believe me, she just implemented why she was brought to your house. Is that so? Why would she do that? She wants you to get married. Can't you understand? She wants me to get married. Of course. By bringing a woman into my house to seduce me into getting married. Humphrey, your mother can go to any land nah. to get what she wants. Come on, that's hogwash. No, no, not that in this case. True. Listen, I know what I want. I will get for me what I want. One of the people, the man that all the ladies have been falling in love with. Um, Lady Chelsea, that, that was not necessary, eh? However, thanks for the encomium. Um, I am indeed surprised to see you here. You know, my boys told me that um, you're here to see me, and here I am wondering why you're here. You are my friend, and I came to see you. Wait, are you actually saying that you don't miss me? Miss you. <laughs> Chelsea. It's quite disturbing to find out that in spite of um, how far you've gone in life and all that you have attained as a businesswoman, uh, you still allow my mother to put you through this very laughable process. It's, uh, why would you do this to yourself? I don't actually understand what you mean by that. I came here on my own. And guess what? I'm here to spend the night with you. You're here? to spend the night with <laughs> well, right here in my house of course here <laughs> i'd like to see how this pans out you know what um i am not going to throw you out of this house um reasons best known to me it's okay so it's fine you can stay if you want to stay but while you're here you'll behave yourself Mr. Handsome, we are all mature. Hmm? Anything that is going to happen between us, you will like it. Trust me, you can like it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. 